Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video I'm going to show you how to clean a gas jet which might have a restriction due to you boiling the water over or the jet has just become partially blocked due to corrosion inside the pipes. Now normally with a gas cooker or a gas hob when you light it you end up with a good flame but on occasions you end up with a very small flame now this is usually due to a restriction in the flow of the gas coming through. What I'm going to show you is how to clean the jet and to do it properly you need to take the jet out. There's a lot of videos on the internet which just show you poking a hole in the jet but you're actually pushing the dirt or the blockage back into the gas pipeline so when you open the tap eventually that dirt is going to come back through and block the jet. So what we'll do is take the jet out and we'll clean the jet to get this flame back to normal. So the first thing we need to do is lift off the burner head once they've cooled down. Then you'll need to remove the burner cap and also the crown. This will now give you access to the actual gas jet. Now this is an old gas hob and there normally is a flame safety device. You've got the spark igniter here but you normally have an FSD. I'll show you all about FSDs in another video. Now down here is the actual hole that you can see. Now most people say just get a sharp item and poke it down the hole. Yes this will clear the problem but the problem will come back. So what we need to do is take this jet out. You'll need a 7mm socket on most of them. Some gas cookers do have different jet sizes. You'll need to go down, get on the jet. Sometimes they can be a little bit stiff. Now the jet is down there, we'll need some pin nose pliers to get at this. Now if you look closely you can see some dirt in the actual jet itself. But more importantly is the dirt that is down here in the pipe. Now what I'm going to use is a small pipe cleaner something like this and I'm just going to go down loosen up any of the crud that's in there now we've cleaned out the crud inside and the dirt but we need to blow this out now you could actually disconnect the hob and use a pressure line but uh, with the electric turned off so we don't get any spark jumping because this is very important so the gas doesn't ignite just open the valve up and you can see all that dirt that just flew out. Now we can clean up the jet. Sometimes jets wear and they will need replacing and normally written on the side of the jet somewhere is a number and that will be the jet size. This is one of the smaller ones and this is set up on LPG gas at the moment so this jet size on this cooker is 50.50 and there we go we've got a good clean hole I normally put just a little touch of gas sealant around the jet before putting it back in drop the jet down and get it lined up correctly so we've got the jet in make sure you don't cross thread it we don't need to do it tight just a little bit of a nip and that's it what I normally do while the surface is all removed is give it a clean I normally use this oven mate it's very good on this glass type surface 
and ceramics. It's not too coarse that it will scratch it, but yet it will remove 99% of all the grease. So, once we've done all that, given it a clean, reinsert the crown, the burner cap, and the guard. And now we have a good flame. If your flame is burning yellow, that means the jet has gone, become slightly too large and you're getting too much oxygen coming through and the flame will change colour slightly. And that is a good flame for the small. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to always support the channel by buying parts and uh, cleaning products off us. And if you did find this video helpful, remember you can always click on the donate button and buy us a beer. Uh, thanks very much indeed for watching.